Uh, meanwhile, though, like Austria is fighting, but not fighting. It's a war, not war. Mm -hmm. uh, they did manage to grab this land off yeah. of Hungary, though, but I don't think it was now any big also, achievement. Now, if you look at if we look at the um, Pope, he's not feeling blessed at the moment. <laughs> No, Urbino are back on the map, oh, yes. but they're getting laid siege down by Venice here. Why? What is Venice trying to do? It seems that this is the Venetian conquest of Romagna, and they don't have Romagna. Well, they... I've seen some stranger things in my time. Apparently going off to loot Rome first. Okay, they've got some fifth dimensional chess tactics, apparently. Heavens even knows. Yeah. Why is there ca cattle in North America? So it's worth saying that uh, when we have Why the cows... Why not, is the answer. When we have the cows, I wonder if I could even find one just by clicking around. Oh, I had one. I had one there. So this isn't necessarily a cow. This no. is just animals that you are rearing. It could be buffalo, for example. Yeah. I believe they have a few of them in North America. Oh, where do you go? Or bisons. Yeah, mm. see. There we go. What's the difference, really? Mm -mm. Yes, so buffalo lives matter, people. Yes. They're doing their own kind of cattle farming before yes. it was cool. They're keeping it real. Mm -hmm. It's sure. one cow. Yes. This was team keeping it real, right? They're yes, being... team keeping it real. Well, they are keeping it, but I'm not sure about real because they're just letting Karakayunlu go down. And Karakayunlu got the gems already. You know, these are the crown jewels you want in the area. And they're at war with them. Uh, so they're fighting... Oh, man. Oh, man. But, uh, you know, I think Yemen's going to regret being so modest here. Yes, do you think they could have they could kept, have, kept more of it real? They could have kept a lot more real here. Now, granted, they took some nice land, but there's a lot to be said for controlling the strait here. Oh, yep, indeed. I do like that nobody is touching Yas, though. I, I like this little nation here. Yes. It's the pink of Arabia. Uh, I want to take another look at the trade goods in Arabia because previously it was just... You didn't really want to conquer there. It wasn't so great. Now it's one of the prime locations for getting incense. Yeah. And if we go over to... Cracking cup of coffee there, a bit of Arabia beans. Where we got? There we go. We got the mocha. The coffee Aribaca. Yes, that's a good old there. You know, get your barista going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but between the, uh, the, the gems... Course, the famous Omani cow. <laughs> <laughs> the cow fields of Oman. Yeah, you oh, plant yes. your cows, water them. Yeah. Gotta, gotta go a long way to water some of these cows. Yes, I know. Well, that's that's true dedication mm -hmm. there. So yeah, the the trade goods here have vastly improved. Punjab is at war. What are you up to? Oh, they've gone after Malabar. Malabar. Oh. Ooh. But didn't uh, yeah. so they were being very modest here for some odd reason. Mm -hmm. Bachman is only decided. Is to there some the sort of deal here, and how long? Yes, now they, they did mention there may be deals, but uh, we didn't probe for any of the exact details. Perhaps when they come down for the post-match bants, they can fill we us can in at a least bit uh, get, get, get some good... Or we can keep an eye, eye on our Dev Clash thread for all the top player propaganda. Oh yes, <laughs> see, sometimes that's where they really like to show it off, their propaganda. Yes. So uh, the holy cows, not so many of them in India. In fact, that might be what they're fighting over here. Like yes, they, they, they want they... to secure the cow. <laughs> yes. Top yeah. invention, the mm -hmm. cow. No, that was CK. You could invent the cow. <laughs> uh, How's it best to fertilize your cow? Probably with manure. <coughs> oh, and Kiyunlu is requesting your aid in their conquest of Ramazan because they clearly couldn't manage it themselves. Yes, uh, it's a bit, bit, bit of the old Ramataz here. Mm -hmm. Maybe they just want Kataman to do the heavy lifting. Kataman's having none of that. He's got, well, if you insist. Yes. Uh, I don't think they'll have any particular troubles there. I don't like what's going on here, though. This is, this is honestly, it's just one. Of, you see, when you announced the DLC was called Cradle of Civilization, I was expecting a Scottish focused <laughs> DLC, <laughs> right? A well-deserved buff for the Cradle of Civilization. That I think, given what we serve as food back home, it may well just be the graveyard of civilizations here. Yeah. Well, it looks like the Vikings are... Yeah, they're they're taking back what they think's theirs. Which is... Yeah, they've even stationed an army here to keep everybody underfoot. I mean, they've gone... They've targeted pretty correctly here. I mean, they want that space side. Yes, indeed. There can be only one, so mm. they've got the Highlanders there. <laughs> but yes, I am obviously disappointed in your choice of region for a, for a DLC allegedly entitled <laughs> The Cradle of Civilization. Mm. I do feel that you probably missold us. 
Okay, I, I will take this to heart. Yes. You know? Uh, I mean, this release is in two days. Yes, there's uh, still time to there do. There is still yet time. <laughs> yes, that's two full days of development. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nerf Danlaw, I fully agree. Mm -hmm. You've traumatised our <laughs> Scottish <laughs> team. <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, yeah. e what exactly does drilling is a question that's being asked. So perhaps we could take a look well, at the You could either bottom. be looking for oil. Yeah. If you or, or. 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 So here we go, the Ottomans have decided to, to drill their, their units here. Now you need a general first and foremost, yes. and of course an army here. Yeah, and general and army. Yeah, uh, mercenaries aren't affected by this, but any regulars are, including your Janissary units who are drilling twice as fast. So uh, as we can see, they build up an army drill value, which is going to make them punch harder and take fewer hits. So his, fan, his fire and shock damage, he yes, both gives out more and receives less of it. Uh, so you build this up over time, when you have to reinforce or when you're not drilling, it will slowly go away. And by drilling, you're going to build up your army professionalism. Now, I've got to hand it to the Ottomans. They've been focusing on this quite a bit. They managed to build yeah, it up I think they also get a little hand. A little hand? Yes, don't they start off with some army professionalism? Oh, yes, they, they get a helping hand along the yes. way. Yes. So, yes, I mean, it's just an, yet another one of our Ottoman nerves. Yes. <laughs> If we look to the Mamluks, for example, they're, they're kind of lagging behind in that whole carry-on. And Crimeans, uh, there's nothing ah, professional to be said for them. Yes, rank amateurs. Yes. Now, but there's one one thing that reduces army professionalism is recruiting mercenaries. Am I yes, not correct? Yes, that is right. So if we wanted to, if we're in a bad spot and, you know, at the start of the war, you're like, yes, our army is pride of the world. Yeah, we'll take everything on. And then yeah. things start going a bit hairy. You go, maybe I should invest in a bit of mercenaries. You're going to lump some, remove your own army professionalism. Which by kind of us is supposed to make mercenary spam, spam a bit more of a challenge. Well, it's more of a choice to be made there, though. Yeah, I mean, so you, you might be able to turn the tide of this one war if you lax everything and rely on more mercenaries. But overall, your professionalism is going yeah. to suffer. And next time around... Yeah, you're not going to fight so well. Is the drilling bonus additive to the army professionalism bonus? Uh, so yes, you can have, uh, let's say you get 10% from your drill and 10% from your professionalism. 10 plus 10, if I'm not mistaken, and it's it could 20. be, is 20. Yes. And who will win the dev clash? Who do you think we should vote for here to find out? People asking who we think will win. Well, I just... Or are you asking? Yeah. Or oh, we just... oh, we have to... Oh, yes. Oh, well, yes. Team, team commentary should never be so biased here. But... Right. Um, well, we could just view the results. Hmm. Yeah, we should put in our own one and just not yes. say. That one? Yeah. Yeah? Or this one? No. No. Pretty sure it won't work. <laughs> no? Oh. No. Well, you can try it. Sad. All right, we're going to try it here. Yeah, we'll try anyway. All right, we'll vote. The vote has been counted. Oh, sad. The Indian triumvirate is in front here. Was this last week's poll? Are you doing a new poll this week? Yeah. Well, all right. Okay, there we go. We're going to have it. Yeah. Show show everybody. Oh, well, we voted last week, it seems. <laughs> oh. Oh. There oh. we go. So the Indian triumvirate... Are still the fans' favourite here? Yeah. Team Whilst Johannes. The, the Eternal Order, which are the other Indians, were... <laughs> Almost dead last. I don't know why Tim, uh, Team Timmy is so dead last. Okay, so the Uzbeks had a bit of a rough run. Um, so we say, uh... But look at it this way. T, uh, Team Timmy used to have three nations. Now they have Karakuyunlu, Timurids, Uzbek, Uzbek, Uzbek. Uh, five nations! Yes. Uh, this is amazing. Okay, well, <laughs> Siberia has now decided to join Team Uzbek. <laughs> They've decided oh, to. Uh, and I think they. Oh, they even have a core on Uzbek, so we'll see. Well, it looks like Uzbek could be. Um, I know. They're going to be in hot water here. And now they have Tengri Zilla. Well, will, will Beyond B allow to be play as Siberia? Will we take pity on Beyond B due to the fact that he was, wasn't was here? I'm not sure he'd want to be Siberia. To and, be honest. And the other thing is here is, do we want to actually um, encourage tactical sickies? I don't think we do. Mm, no. no. Tactical, tactical weakness is still weakness. Yes. So, cannot, cannot abide by uh, so, bringing tactics. Don't bring down the good name of strategy. Yes. By no. assigning your sick leave to it. Yes. 
So, all right. So, so Regier is also involved in this war. Again. Yeah, I, think I, I think it's just Crimea's going around looting and pillaging well, as much Akun as he can. Start this one. Is Regier going to go in? Yeah, he's the one in here looting. Is, it. is he going to like loot and burn it? Quite possibly. He and could... then, oh no, I think, oh, I think um, Akiyun has already looted and burnt it. <laughs> yes. But Crimea will probably raise the province and then just hand it over. Yes. Or might even keep it so he's, you know, on the forefront of the fight against he's the keeping Mamluks. It, keeping it real against keeping it yes. real. I'm looking forward to those wars so we can yes. run that joke into the ground. Yes, well. All right, so now we have, yes, yeah, so their war there. The People Austrians. How the Uzbek cores look. They got a lot of them. They got a lot of them. And you, they got you, a lot of potential there. You might think this land is pretty awful, but really, it's not that bad. There's some good stuff here. There's some awful stuff. Right? Yeah, you know, it's, it's not all good. You <laughs> <Yeah>. know, but <laughs> now, Austria is at war with someone. When I say it's not bad, I don't mean it's good. No, well, they're still just at war with, and he's still helping out Burgundy by uh, not helping. Yeah, I mean, look, he's got these uh, these croats to put down. He knows where he yeah, needs to be. And we I also, wonder what he's doing. He might be really trying to get the Burgundian inheritance because this kind of land is for not. free for the uh, Austrians. It's, it's, it's good. Uh, wouldn't be so bad. Mm -hmm. So he's probably going to sit on them for a while in yeah, the hopes to get that. Chat. Sieging with Calf, yes. Stream ends at five. We'll probably run to five past five because there was a delay in starting. That's what we've been told, right? Yes. <sighs> good. Burgundy is at war with the Emperor. He is indeed. Now, I'm wondering what um, Venice is doing. Are they actually winning their war against the Pope? Uh, maybe they're desperately trying to build up their development. They got a 100% war score. Why are they not taking stuff? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> Scoops. <laughs> uh, he, he is pretty keen on having... Uh, oh, well, didn't he used to have a considerably more drilled army before? He was going for high professionalism, high drill to begin with. Yeah, obviously. But uh, as you can see... Yeah, he probably had a few mercenaries. Yeah, he had to let it slack as well. Yes, he can force mm -hmm. inheritance. I mean, look, the, they're trying to sue for peace. The, yes. Uh, the Pope wants to, but... Venice just ain't interested. He just wants to be in a state of war. not quite sure what he's doing. Yes. Um, okay, so there no we go. No peace, it was taken, only war. But it looks like this was given directly to the Ottomans. He did not raise the province. It still has the 15 developments, so... Uh, mm -hmm. Your guess is as good as mine as to what Crimea is trying to do here. He's got his own tributary of uh, Gizzi here, but I think he'd be better off just raising the land into oblivion. Mm -hmm. So let's see, is, um, how's his horde unity looking? Mm, it's no good. Well, so. See, it, it goes down over time, and worse so if you're large, so he's probably going to try to make a beeline towards reforming. So he's taken economic ideas, he's focusing admin, his only advisor is administrative, but here's the thing, like, um, Crimea was the weak one of this trio. Yes. Might not think so, I mean, this is pretty good land and they're pretty strong, but hordes and multiplayer, they have to reform. It's and a big investment. It's basically the race to reform. So they really have to be fostered through this administide. But once they finish economic and they're able to reform, then they can, uh, they do have some pretty good ideas here. Yeah. They're... Then they are going to be a fully, uh, fully fledged member. Of Team this Turk. armed and fully operational Crimea. And then, well, you know, Lithuania is right there to be chewed on. Yes. I don't know if Team Johan's going to be eating there. Uh, Team Livo Livonian Order is certainly not getting their Teutonic lands back in a hurry. No, I'm sure they're thinking about. I'm sure they're coming up with Plan B. Mm hmm. But they've got coal, they've got cores there. And they're Prussian. Yeah. So it's going to be around for a long time. Mm hmm. Just burn everything down with horses. Yes. Mm hmm. Never reform. Well, yes. I, I know in single player a lot of people love to do the never reform with their hordes, and I can get behind that. It's, it's in my eyes some of the most enjoyable times, just looting and burning everything down. But in multiplayer, you, you come along with your horses to the enemy, and he, he's pulling a full Fido with his cannons. Yes, and then it's not good. Horses don't do very well when no. there's artillery shells coming down. People are just curious. If Madagascar produces paper. Madagascar produces something. Madagar Madagascar produces. Yes. Paper, though. Mm. Ooh. No, slaves, a bit of grain, and some fish. So yeah, no, there we are. no real changes here. Uh, as for where one can get paper, well, I know you get some paper over here. There the, we go. Uh, the Mamluks did produce it. It wasn't very good, no. but they did produce it. And as for where you can get it around here, well, where's that paper again? 
It's is, a rare good, to is, be sure, and it's worth good money. Is, is the, oh yeah, we have France, paper. Yeah, I mean, Paris. Get your Parisian paper there. The, the Pope produces it as well. Yeah, well, you need to write your Bibles on something. Uh, God knows what he was using before that. <laughs> uh, we touch with India, but yeah, it's a pretty rare good, so actually securing that uh, trading in bonus, depending where you are, could be easy or brutally hard. I've got a lot of faces in the chat, I don't even know what's going on there. Yeah, well, they're definitely up to... They're asking why Novgorod is still alive, though, and honestly, I do not know. No. Muscovy seems more intent on subjugating Kazan. Well, everyone needs a hobby. Uh, and they almost did, but they still have Kennedy. And they are... <laughs> they're a tributary to Nagai now. Uh, you let them live, see what happens. Yes, Johan... Uh... And he's got disaster looming, as Johan. Yeah, what's going on here? Cossack independence. Lucky. So, have the Cossacks gotten too much control over his nation? Yes, they have, and they're not too loyal either. So, I so wonder he if he's basically, gonna... he went full Cossack. Yeah, there we go. He brought them down, and he he's actually fighting against them. He forced them to rise up by re taking back some of their estate lands. But at least he avoids the disaster that way. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be too happy with him for a while, though. I mean, they're going to make his cavalry more expensive and rubbish. Yeah, but cavalry... Yeah, I wonder how much he relies on it. He relies quite heavily on cavalry. I mean, Eastern tech and early in the game works well that way. Can an AI nation annex a protected player? Yes. Yes, they but can. But we have teams now, so if the Uzbek get annexed, it is all Timmy's fault. Yes. Uh, see, there we go. Allied with Uzbek, but just not... Uh... <laughs> Not growing them. Actually, I wonder what Timmy is up to right now. Well, he's taken part of the Sikhs. He's also filled in. There's a little. There was a little bit in the centre there that's now gone. Hmm. Now Transoxania is that his um, vassal? Yeah, and they should be able to annex that without too much. Ooh, Afghanistan is disloyal, and Trans is only just there. Just got the uh, Mamluks as a rival there, but he should be eating them immediately. I don't really know why he's not. Maybe he just wants the extra troops, but Samarkand, Bukhara, it's great land around here. And they got some silk. Oh, damn, this, I don't know why he doesn't just eat this land, which would give him a great opportunity to then fight Kazakh to get and, Uzbek their cores. Yes, and that would definitely be a strategy. Mm -hmm. Who's Kara allied to? Kara is supposed to be allied to the Timurids, but due to amazing things mm -hmm. with our hot join code. Grugi's finest work, we'd just like to add. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's the he's team... Switched. I think it's a team code that... I switched uh, religion, says Kat. What has he I gone? I switched religion. They hate me just a bit extra. So, uh, he's Timmy went Shia. Shia and he, uh, when he turned Shia, he decided to join the Jafari school because he wants shocking damage. Oh. He's not going full Fido, mm -hmm. then. Oh. Interesting. Now, as I, um, Oman has gone, as has Yaz. Oh, man. <sighs> sad. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit saddened by that. But it looks like not all this land went... In fact, Yemen got a decent chunk of this. Yes. Did he fight again? or did he Yes, they were. Some? They were fighting, but mm -hmm. I didn't figure Carson would be fighting anyone important. Now, mm -hmm. Punjab is at war. Yeah, Punjab, what are you up to here? Fighting Delhi, Chagatai, Yaga. That's a laundry list of enemies. What are they up to? What's Kangra up to? I mean, that's the real quest. Oh, not Kangra? Not Jampur? Just Punjab? Yes, this is a tactical one. Uh, they're attacking Delhi. This is the Punjabi conquest of Upper Dob. But Delhi were allied with Chagatai, Bengal, and Gujarat. So, so what? I don't know. They probably can't get over here unless Kangra and Jampur right, let yeah. them, so they'll just take the land. <laughs> I'd always sad about something, we're keeping an eye on chat. Huh. Yeah, I just saw a sad face. I think it's because he's not getting the Burgundian inheritance. Nope. I think he's given up the ghost there. But he, he did get uh, French Comte, so... Yeah. yeah, and he also decided that the Dutch need better administrating. Make Holland Germany again. Mm, well... <laughs> You'd have to dig it out first. Yeah, well, swamp drain, German. drain it. Drain the swamp. <laughs> <Yes. Yeah. laughs> okay, so England are also not impressed with Dane law and have decided that even the Western Isles must be liberated. Well, I don't know about liberation. No. 
It's of liberation of sorts. <laughs> nice. He's bringing cannons to the fray as well. I don't. What's he got? Is he bringing cannons to a knife fight? Yeah, it's Henry Henry Tudor the Seventh himself heading on over there. Meanwhile, I mean that puts him at war with Kalmar. Yes. But uh, when it comes to the navy, I don't think that. Uh, I don't oh. think that the Scandinavians are going to be crossing over anytime soon. No. Just a hunch. So he might be a bit cheeky and take Orkney as well. Yeah, well. I mean, frankly, not? frankly, have it. They're welcome to it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they won't mind. It. Yes. You know, someone's got to have it. You know, it's like one of those one of life's consolation yeah, prizes. Same rubbish on a different day when it's there. Florence, Genoa, East Frisia. The wonders never er, uh, never end here. So they're finally going to take over the last of Florence, I imagine. Mm -hmm. It was uh, an early fight that uh, netted them a lot of aggressive expansion there. Mm -hmm. Yes, you got to watch out for those Australians. They are indeed up to something. Mm -hmm. But uh, the man looks they they're being quite the peaceful they nation. They managed to make it to the coast, though. If you see there. Oh, oh, there we go. And that would allow them to, say, take the Balleri. No, not taking Balleries. It's the only place they could fabricate on from there. Uh, but it could be that what he really wants is the gold of Tafilalt. Uh, gold is vastly overrated. I don't understand people's obsession with gold. Well, not all that glitters. All that is gold does not glitter, as well as a great philosopher once mm, said. No. All that is gold does not glitter hoof, perhaps? Yeah, well, that's probably true that's, as well. That was probably his follow-up. Yes. He had that epiphany later that night. So Adal has surrounded Ethiopia, but is just not feasting on them yet. And maybe they're waiting for a military advantage, but I think they should be going for it. Ethiopia is pretty well defended by fortifications, but they should just get in yeah. there. It's bring pretty... in some Mameluke advisors, go all in. Yeah, pretty good land to have. They should yes. be. They should be going for it. We're being told off for being. Blo oh me, oh my! Oh my! I God. do not think that went the way Austria wanted it. No, to. I'm not quite sure that is the orthodox inheritance. Mm, uh, well, 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 well. What does that make for Holland, though? I mean, Holland kind of stayed out of this, but Castile is just eating it right up. Keeping Ooh, it, yeah. keeping it Castilian. Keeping it, just keeping it. <laughs> well, I guess someone who's not happy with the Burgundian. <laughs> 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 However, this uh, they're all AIs over here, which makes things pretty interesting. Castile already has Aragon and Naples under union, and now also owns the Lowlands, so they're going to be butting heads with France. Mm -hmm. France. Yes, Pido is suggesting that um, Karsten might, uh, might, might be um, close there. Yes. <laughs> so uh, the Mamluks probably won't be too happy with what they so have to do. So let me just see Austria on personal unions and inheritances. Out of three potentials, which is Hungary, Bohemia, and Burgundy, they got exactly nil. No, not Velfard, no. but Nilfard. Nilfard, <laughs> wow. Um, Go Team AI. Yes, if the AI wins, this will we'll have to phone up Gnebom, invite him back. To get his trophy, yes. Yeah. Oh, me, oh my. So what's... Uh, I wonder what the Mamluks are going to do about this, because I imagine they were thinking Iberia will be mine. Yeah, well, I'm sure, you know, people are looking. I mean, there was... Oh, well, look at this. France is already having none of it. And they're attacking Castile. No, but that's the Ottomans are attacking Salento. What could it mean? What could it, Ottomans are attacking into Naples. Interesting. And they are invading. Yes. And they brought their good friend France. So this yes. this looks good initially for the Ottoman. But yes. uh, France... It's going to take one for the team here. Hot damn, that French Elan is counting for everything. Oh, and oh, here comes oh, oh. here comes three and four pence. Oh, cha! Look at those Iberians melt. Yes. Uh, so yes, he's got France basically pinning down the castle. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, it's not over though. Provence is there to show yes, them what they're yeah. made of. Fear Provence. Yeah, uh, but here's the thing. Now, now the Ottomans are invested. What if they were to get attacked? Ooh. But who would want to attack? I mean, well, certainly not somebody with no troops. Yes. Actually, where is that Kara uh, army? Is he just saving up money or something? No, he has an army. It's somewhere. Uh, oh, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. Important stuff going on here. Yes, he's having a goodwill visit to the Gulf there. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Bahmanis feel a bit frustrated with being beaten back this way because now Mawar is a subject of Punjab. 
Yeah, that uh, was a good move there. They remember those cores. Securing the border. Yeah, what Batman should be doing is. Mamluks attack up. Ottomans. They're claiming there's. Karsten TM is a war with someone. Yeah, well, it's not so, quite Ottomans. So close so. and yet so far. I'm telling you, he wants that gold. Oh, well, maybe he just wants this one single province. But yeah, then well, at least, he's, at least someone is doing. Doing something about border gore. Mm -hmm. yeah, I appreciate what the man looks are doing here. They're, they're keeping it real. Yes, yeah. that's what team keeping a real does. Uh, I, I just can't understand why Ottomans took Kataman as a subject. I'm sure it's part of his grand master plan. I'm just, yeah, it's just seeing it. Maybe just um, your mind is not on a high enough plane to no. really appreciate. No, that could well be it. The man who got the Marin Ostrom achievement in the last <laughs> yes, multiplayer uh, stream. That's, you know, that's I mean? really impressive. Yes. Oh, mm. Austria is going after Bohemia, having decided personal unions. Yeah, personal unions a bit overrated, so, so they're just going for straight up conquest. Well, it works, I suppose. Well, it works at making you some enemies. There's nothing he can take that won't make the HRE decide to destroy him. Mm. Mm. We'll see what happens there. What's going on? Yes. France have appeared. Yes, the French. <laughs> your reinforcements have arrived, your yeah. grace. Turning up there, you know, it's like a piece of Venice. Yeah. Take a piece of Naples while they're at it. Okay, so what is Castile doing down here? Are they taking a different route to get over to uh, to the Ottoman heartlands? Well, they're definitely going um, alternative route. Okay. Oh, uh, Tunis. Tunis are involved in the war. Is Tunis so an ally to... of the Ottomans? They are indeed an ally That's of the Ottomans. That's a very cunning move there. It was initially designed to keep the Mamluks away, but... Uh... Well, the Mamluks appear to have gone round. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tunisian kind of bas barrier. Orthodox zealots just chilling out in Corfu. Yes, they have been there all day. We're yeah. waiting for Dino to come along and do deal with them. Yes. Cor crushing rebels in Corfu is his speciality. Ah. We got any other big things going on? We see that Hager Hink is still, still in that trying war. to get to LA. Yeah. He has a minor thing of he's going to have to take quite a while to convince those AIs to peace mm -hmm. out. I wonder what he's going to do. It would probably be a lot for him to form Bahrat. Well, he's just got hot. He's just got something to. Yeah, he's got something to go for. Yeah, so he can also Empire placate right. the Timurids. That's yeah. a mission. Uh, oh, there we go. Timurids are a threat to our nation. Yeah, well, we should improve their, relations. Their words, their words, not mine. Down with Byzantium, says Dinot. Damn right. <laughs> Dinot knows what he wants. I feel like the Ottomans are steering the entire show here. We're not feeling much of the Ak or the Crimean influence on what the team is doing. Yeah, well, you could say that the Ottomans are going to be the driving force mm -hmm. of this team, especially early game. Much like the Mamluks, uh, mm. but I, I like this. The Mamluks have done a great job of fostering. You know, Adal, they start out with just this. They have grown significantly. Mm -hmm. Same with the Yemen. I mean, they just had three provinces here, if I recall. I think just one. Uh, in the Civil War, no less. Yeah, so it wasn't uh, really... So he, he's building up Good, self-sufficient sub... Uh, not subjects. Team members, of course. Team members. No team have subjects. On an unrelated note, let's look over here and see if the Livonian Order have repaired anything. They have not. But at all. What do? Let's check out their coalition stakes here, though. Uh, there's no yeah, coalition I mean, to be had. Alright, so Moscow has a few enemies. How about Livonian Order? Yeah, oh, he can go back on the rampage. Yeah, Kaiser yeah. Johan, you know what you have to do. And Zodiev just chilling out there. Okay, Lithuania. Oh, is here being we attacked. go. Crimea, Ottomans, Karaman, Ak, Yunlu, Livonian Order, Muscovy, Pskov, Belo, Ozero, and Odiev. Yes. So it's nay a good day for the PLC. Yes, but uh, but but it does it. Will that give Kaiser Johan a chance to rebuild the Livonian Order? Well, the question is, what have they decided to attack with? So this is the Livonian reconquest. So they will be taking those cores back on the cheap. Yes, that's their plan. Get so, the Livonian but Order. What about the Crimean War? I mean, the uh, the Crimean War of the 15th Crimean century. Crimean conquest of Lithuania. They're thinking big here. Good. Got to hand it to the Crimeans. Yeah, yeah. Just take it all. So, what's he using then? Tribal conquest. Fantastic Cassus Belly to use. They'll be able to eat up quite a lot of land if they use this correctly. Yeah, but you can also see that basically um, there's going to be a kind of, shall we say, map painting race here. Mm hmm. Now, this is. Uh, will. Will, will the um, Allies help out? Well, here we go. We oh, see I, the see, I see the Ottomans turning up in Bessarabia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we also have um, Akayun there as well. Mm -hmm. Now, is so that they Polish are army going round to... Where's, where's that Polish army going? Uh, I don't think they like what you saw around here, so mm -hmm. they are going to a safer place. 
their safe spot, safe place, is it? Mm-hmm. And Lithuania is just getting pounded by Livonian Order and Odiev whilst mm-hmm. Muscovy does the sieging. Yes, interesting. Muscovy use. sieges, so you don't. Okay, have to. so here we go. The Polish uh, army is starting to scatter. Yeah, taking over a few key provinces here because yeah. they know they if they fought here they would just get eliminated. Yes, but then again, Lithuania is getting carved up here. Yes. What is going to happen? So there's the thing, it's first come, first serve when it comes to province occupation. So, oh, it is, is a race. Has, uh, does, has Livonian order pieced out there? Surely not. No. no. Oh. All right, no. I'll just cue it. Maybe, oh, they must have just been liberating a province. Oh, there. the growth of Odiev begins. Yes, there we are. Johan remembering long, what team it is actually is. Long time coming, but there yes, we go. It, it was bound to happen sooner mm-hmm. or later. But uh, all of this is part of the greater Russian culture group, so it's good land for them to have. Yes, indeed. But uh, uh, now, here we go. So now Crimea and Akhyunlu, they, they now have a line that they must try to draw to contain Odiev here. Yes, and this is where it comes in that, you know, basically Muscovy, on the other hand, also wants to draw a line. Oh, but... The PLC goes. is fighting back. Yes. Who's going to win this one? Oh, no, I think the PLC will... Ch- oh, no, it didn't have time to change its mind here. Yeah, and the Horde have uh, the distinct advantage here. Oh, well, they have basically everything going for them here. Oh, yeah. It um, feels, feels sad here for Poland. Ooh, sad day for Poland. And who's the backup? Well, it's more Poles. Yes. Yeah, that's going to hand it to Poland, so they want a piece, but meanwhile, Moscovy's coming in on the top there. Oh, hold the phone there. They actually won on the second time around. Oh. They sent them packing. Right. Oh, they, they got they? some phenomenal dice rolls there, and this could be just what Muscovy needs to cut off yes. Team Turk here. They can be the one to win this battle and then take this over, because uh, Team Turk is having to fall back hard. Mm-hmm. Yes. Poland still yes, got it. it. Yes, Poland still got it, man. That's kind of a shame for Team Johan that they managed to make it to Kiev, which is really the crown jewel of uh, of this land. Yeah, well, you got to wonder how much la- you know how much you know Team Johan would have been able to actually take. I think he can demand quite a lot of this. Or uh... hang on, what's going on here? Oh yeah, Od- Odiev is in this, but hang on. I think Livonian Order is the war leader. But of course. Yes. Now we're talking. Oh, yeah. Give it all up. And of course, he's going to want those cores of his. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he yeah, can. That one's not necessary. There's a fair chunk to be eaten here. But, you know, should they be more strategic? You know, start cutting off? Yeah, but I mean, crimes against border gore. Come on, Austria, jump in as well. Yes. Well, Austria is busy weighing up the options when it comes to coalition city here because yeah. they could they could fairly eat one. I mean, well, France is winning the war in Aragon, mm-hmm. which uh, is allowing I, I, Aragon is just a subject here. Where are the French? Well, that's a, it's a question we always ask yes. at this point in the stream. Well, also the French had military tech seven, which is huge, but Aragon's got tech eight. Ooh, beast. And beasting it, all right. And there's the Ottomans of tech eight as well. Uh, enormous. Okay, so they're working on Castilian land here. Mm. I don't think this is going to go so well for team AI. Yeah. Whereas team Ottoman, they're carving it up left and right. Yes. Feels bad being the pole. They had that one good battle, but now it's all oh, coming. Oh, no, but there's, there's some reinforcements oh. coming in. Oh, Oh, that's going to be... Is away goes Crimea, away goes Akiyunlu. They're yes, not they done can't, yet. What's their manpower like? I don't think these guys have deep manpower pools. Well, Crimea's oh. looking all right. That's yeah. that, that horde thing there. there. Oh, and, but, well... Well, actually, they've got plenty of manpower. Why didn't bad. they stay in? Not bad. Austria needs to get into Spain or Poland now. I think Austria really just needs to get into both. But okay. I think they should first be digging... A bit of bit of, bit of Bohemia there. When it comes to professionalism, Poland's uh, trumping the both of them. So. Oh, there we are. Austria oh, has. Wow, what a partition! Yes, taking a big chunk there. Yeah, well, more like ripped into pieces. But here comes a coalition for them. Yes, it's starting so, to form. Uh, when you have Ansbach and Hess, Salzburg, Bavaria, Ulm. Oh, oh no, my goodness, that's. That's disaster there. Nuremberg World conquest in the offing and there. And Ravenburg, so it's Ulmward World Order coming against them. Yeah, I mean, it's just miners, but 
They can fairly pack a wallop if they all work together. We'll see what comes uh, of that. The, the, the team cost has gone to war. Who have they gone to war with? Uh, it's Portugal, Portugal and England. But that means Castile was not willing to aid Portugal. They no. said, no, not worth it, mate. Not no, happening. Would you? With, with Team Karsten coming along to keep it real? Well, he's keeping it not Portuguese. No, right. uh, he's definitely going all... He has not taken the Golden Telefrat. No, Clearly. no, he decided to just... But no, he's work. gone for the coast there. Is Have have hmm. they picked colonial exp exploration? No, no they quantity haven't. quantity economic. He probably didn't want to pick it so early because he couldn't use it then. But no. if the Mamluks go off to the New World, there's very little competition there. No. I mean, I know somebody is probably going to try and make his way there. He's finished yeah. that colony. Where's his newest colony? There it is there. No. See on the see down in Borneo, south. Sorry, no. Sumatra. There Aha! It is. Yeah. Now this, if anything, is a staging ground for an invasion of Pasai. Pasai have grown pretty big and strong. But, yes. But uh, if the Maldives are able to summon some help from the mainland... Yes. Sort of call up Vijayanagar. Yeah, however... Patani and Ligur. Okay, no, as alliances go, that's a bit lame for Pasai. It's, it's not. It's not going to dis discourage Bakmanis from coming along and burning their country oh, down. No. Meanwhile, Yemen is trying to piece their country together. Yes. All right, getting rid of border core. Letter Z. Don't want to miss more of this though. Yeah. Now the Muscovites have been sent packing. I just can't believe where Lithuania, Poland, and let's not forget Moldavia are getting. Oh, yes. Their don't forget the mighty stamina. Moldavia here. But I mean. Uh, What's going on? Krakow occupied by Rebs. Same with Warsaw. Whew. City at war. Nobody's playing Western Europe at all. Not at the game start. No. Nope. We'll Although look. the Mamluks are making a good effort of heading, heading that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, now this is... This coalition starting to grow here. It's getting Austria dangerous. bitten off a bit more than it can chew. The Ducat Renaissance Party. Not so Now the Ducat no. Coalition Party. Hoopla. That's just Next MP, please play with very hard. Ooh, not so sure we can uh, we can do that. No, we're we've not. we've had internal MPs before where everybody died right from the start. It's uh, just a bit embarrassing, really. Just a wee bit. Yes. Small heads, whoever was in here before. I don't yeah. know about your headset. No, I think I got. Uh, uh, yeah, I got. I think I got Anders one. He's got the big hair, so. Um... I'm pretty good. Galu double zero in the chat. Clearly, uh, national going. You don't invade the PLC without a bloody high price. No. So no, the, the tw twenty pence and a free twix. Uh, free twix. Yeah. yeah, twenty pence and a Mars bar, mate. Yeah. You know, at least half a crown. You know. Yeah. Okay. No, but they've they've still got the fight. Yes. No. I mean, they're not out of it yet, but I mean, they they're just. It's, it's probably going to be too much for them. There's a level of cruelty here when two teams yes. attack one little AI. Now, the, the Ottomans are still at war. Yeah, they're still fighting for that Neapolitan land. Mm -hmm. But uh, really, I think all they have to do is... What happened in Scotland? Don't ask. What happened in Scotland stays in Scotland, yeah. okay? <laughs> Livonian order. Yes, they are back. <laughs> they're coming back to claim what's rightfully theirs. Yes. Remember, 40 to 1. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we're, we're in the wrong time frame here. It's time for two teams to attack those teams. Well, that's true. I mean, the Ottomans and Team Johan, or Team Turk and Team Johan, are now really crushing into some pretty good land here. Yes, the Turkish supremacy is certainly... It could be time for the Mamluks and Timmies to go, listen, we can't let this keep going. Yes. Uh, if What people should be caring about here is the score, because winner takes all. It, what matters only is yes. the team's combined score, and if uh, if one team wins, they get all the trophies. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be. They're one. all first place there. So who is winning the most when it comes to score? Ottomans and the Mamluks. Uh, they're both. They're Timmy, both pretty Timmy's up there. are third. Yeah, Timmy is up there as well. Muscovy, Muscovy well, uh, and yeah. then it just kind of drops off entirely. Yeah, Jaipur four points, go to four percent there. <sighs> four points for Jaipur. Bahman is beating that out with thirty-seven. Do they actually have a victory card now? I think they will have. They'll have one in Vijayanagar, won't they? And the Jampuris. Yes. There we yeah, are. Yeah, Orissa. Oh, the feeling's mutual. Yes. Okay. Now, does Punjab manage to spawn Punjab's one? surely not large enough for it, no. No. No, no, no. Timmy's have theirs over there. And the we know about the Mamluks and the Ottomans. It's all mutual up there. Muscovy wanted that Uzbek land. Um, How about Austria? Austria surely are big enough now. Oh yes, yeah, there we go. There we Croatia go. is calling them. 
free and Croatia here. <laughs> and if they could spit out Croatia and try to get those cores back, but really, why bother when they've already gotten the land cored? Yeah. It's not that bad. Grasslands, farmlands, nine dev apiece. It's not bad. <laughs> Now, I'm wondering what they are wanting out of this war. Now, as I said, they, they used the tribal or um, the, the horde Cassus Belly here. Have they, have, they, have they been going around looting and burning? Given their uh, unity, I'd say they have. Yes. Southern Lithuania, let's, let's check that development now. Now, they haven't burned anything because they haven't managed to take it for themselves yet. Yeah, but they be... just... Uh, and I think the loot has been regrowing now. It's All been right. a while since they occupied this. And now the Orthodox Zealots are rising up saying, no, nope, one land, one faith. Yeah. But uh, this is where Team Johan actually kind of thrives here. Not only have they really cut off yeah, but now the you Team look Turk. At, they haven't quite cut off Team Turk entirely. Team Turk is using their last avenue of advance here. Mm -hmm. And they are pushing it. They have basically no other choice but to go that way. Mm -hmm. And then will they try and loop round and try and <laughs> cut off Team Johan? Or do they go for the coast and try and grab those Lith Livonian Order cores? Oh, wow, that would be something. It would be you ambitious. Can't, you can't peace out for this land. It, all they'd need to do is just make it to Danzig and say, no, you're not having this. All right, the, in, the, the in Team India is a war. Gujarat, Kandesh, I see. Okay, oh. so this land that they cut yes, off. Yes, they're just polishing it off. Not Kandesh, it was uh, Gujarat and... No, Gujarat and Kandesh. Can Ottomans take parts of Holland? Check, please. That would be great. Oh, can they... I don't think they can. I think it's beyond their coring distance. Well, you know what? Let's assume... Let's assume direct control here. Oh, do you get Crimea can't even see over there. The Ottomans would have to... Uh, occupy this stuff. Yeah. Is that a coast? Is that coastal? Is that coastal to you? Yes, there is. I can see a little port. Yeah, I can't make it a core. No. Too far away. Sadly, They could no. give land to France if they really wanted to. I'm just not sure that's an easy sell. Turkish Netherlands, yes, it would be awesome. Oh, the Ottomans have turned up in Portugal. They're tr they're blocking off Karsten, TM. Yeah, what are they doing there? Well, they're at war with... Uh, um, yeah, they're also at war with the Portuguese, right? Yes, yeah, they're at war with Portuguese through the war in Castile. So yeah. it looks yeah, like... what if they just took a cheeky little snip here and took away Tangiers and Quetta? Well, definitely they can occupy that territory and as long as they have it, the Mamluks cannot get it. Mamluks sending the English packing there, so... The and Ottomans, yeah, you're right, it is occupied by them. Yes, it's a bit of a cheeky number. Could the Ottomans the are Ottomans, everywhere, yes. Could the Ottomans go colonial? Would they want to? Well, given that their avenue of expansion here is going to be, I mean, no, not really, and it's already hotly contested, it yeah. might be an idea for them to invest colonially. You tell me. Yes. Stop posting smileys, someone says. Then posting lots and lots of smileys. Did Robert. England win in Scotland? We prefer to see it as more of a merger. Yes. yes you know, it's, it's a conscious coupling. Yes, conscious coupling. Although... Sutherland. This is no man's land, really. Yes. Sort of like the Wild West there. Mm. Uh, don't look at it. Uh, the more you look, the more painful it gets. Mm -hmm. Yes, some things. Uh, so, having some... exhausted their army, they're now resorting to letting the rebels do the talking over in the PLC. Yes. And the rebels are certainly talking. They've managed to cut off Odiev and Crimea, if they're clever, will jump on that and cut them off right there. Will they do it in time, though? They've got their army together. Yes. There it comes. I think he just needs a push. He needs to know where to go. Can he see it? That's the other thing. Uh-oh. I, I know what I see here. That's bad times. Oh, that feels bad there. <sighs> this is going to be one hell of a beating oh, here. I wipe out. Oh. Hot damn. Okay, the Ottomans are back yes, to uh, kind of get it all back. Yes, just and also, they laid down a uh, supply depot here to try and boost the supply limit over in this area. So they ha they have enough to even do that. If we look over to the Ottomans, Kaching. They've placed one here to boost supply limit considerably. Yes, not bad. Mm -hmm. So that's why he was keeping his army there. And he's actually retreating back. Because another thing is, when, the, uh, when, when they have their uh, supply depot there, he will get... Uh, reinforcements as if he's in his homelands too. But he's going a bit farther back than he that. Yeah, I think he's retreating even further. So he, he established one over in Moldavia as well. Yeah, but... To... So there we go. Normally you only reinforce half as much in uh, occupied land, but mm. he reinforces entirely here. 
Uh, Castile is wanting peace. I mean, you should give peace a try, right? Yeah. Castile's willing to give up to France and France and Ottomans and France and some money. But I don't think that's enough. The Ottomans, uh, they want to push as hard as they can here. Well, they're in the race with Team Karsten here. Sure, but uh, Portugal and Castile, they've still got a lot of bite. Yes. And well, France is getting exhausted here. France is... Just, what's, what's France looking like army-wise? France right? does not want to be in this war anymore. No. I mean, army-wise, France brings 20, maybe 30, 40,000 to, to the fight. But in the grand scheme of things, the, the Ottomans are just stretching. We didn't get out of bed for that, you know.